Hello. My vibes are commendable. Did you not see my backflip? Twas awesome. Truly, truly radical. We're gonna get on with the Viper Sanctum today and fight a boss that based on the theming of the level is either a mongoose or a snake. Get your predictions in now while we fight this other snake in this level full of snakes and poison. Uh, before we head in that door, let's check around, see what we have. I didn't know there was a kitty here. Huh. Uh, let me go round up the other loop before we pet kitty. I don't actually know if these can follow you into boss fights. I mean, they must be able to, right? Because why else would they be here? I guess we're gonna find out. Aw, oh, kitty gonna fight snake! Kitty gonna fight snake. Oh no, I spoiled it. It's not a mongoose. We're gonna sidestep immediately. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. dodge through that. That's actually a little bit harder to dodge through than it looks, just because the hitbox is enormous and it's active the whole time. I was getting clipped while I was an Enki form throwing a javelin. So this burst attack always messes me up. Uh, I think the only reliable way to burst counter it is at the very start of the animation. Uh, like the moment that Yatsunokami plunges their head down to start the attack up. If you just do it uh, when they reach you, it, it'll block the attack, but not much else. Uh, so, now that we're transitioning to the Dark Realm phase, this is why her arms are targetable. Because if you don't sever them uh, in the regular phase, they split off and become separate enemies. Uh, when you do sever the snake arms, however... Oh, that's really good. That's all. When you do sever the snake arms, you usually get antidote drops. Uh, and sometimes I've seen elixirs drop too. Which can be pretty handy. Ooh, we have uh, a shot at a visceral attack on the head. So I think a Nenra is really good against this boss because of the big AoE on it. Uh, you can you can damage the boss guaranteed with it, and you get some some damage in on the arms as well. Oops, we absorb the poison projectile, so instead of spawning a pool, it just poisoned us automatically back into another pool. Uh, if you destroy the snake statues in the level, then there won't be poison in the room, but I must have missed at least one or two. It doesn't actually make the fight all that much harder, though. I will say that Yatsu no Kami is, I think, a pretty, a pretty big step up in difficulty from Nenra and from, um, oh, what's the first? Mizuki. She's got Willow's Bag of Knives from Buffy. And we can get this done in this phase, I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe if I had gone into uh, Yokai Shift. We only have one, the one snake, though. Uh, I'm going to just make sure and not take any chances. Always should be treating her as dangerous. There we go. Oh wait, shit, I didn't realize I hit her staggered, I only need to be backing off. Well, this is fine. Okay. 
I kind of turned my brain off at a few points during that fight. <laughs> Just shut down. It'd be nice if at least one of these was an elixir. I don't need 17 antidotes. But that's fine, too. Big snake, big snake, big snake, big snake. We got big snake. Yeah, Yatsuno Kami Soul Core. Oh, wait till you see this bullshit. So, <clears throat> this is a hard choice. I think we're going to replace a Nenra. I love Enki and Nenra both, but if I had to choose between them, if I had to Sophie's Choice one to have a new child, and that new child was a giant snake called Yatsu, uh, Yatsuno Kami, Bye, former child. You had a good run. 
let's get busy making another one. The first man Hideyoshi served was Oda Nobunaga, the young ruler of Owari province. Nobunaga possessed great military ambitions and unrivaled thirst for tackling the unknown man penetrating insight. He tended to look down on those who blindly put their faith in the gods. Whew. I didn't think I was going to get through that before that faded. <laughs> ここ みのより、お忍びてまいりました。少年の陶吉郎と申します。隣は仲間の秀の。あ、秀吉よ。この度は。廃絶をお許しください。誠に強烈にございます。うぬは汎用か。よく顔を見せよ。初めて見る光じゃ面白い。お主ら二人、今日からこの信長の客となれ。お別れ。感謝いたします。おい。知って父の最後はいかようであった。<笑> Hey, it's time to move on to the first mission in Owari Province. In a basin surrounded by steep mountains, like a, lies a place called Okehazama. The ample cover on the sides of the mountain provides the perfect place to conceal troops and is often used as a resting place between long marches. While the valley is extensive, the limited habitable land means that it's long since been abandoned as a place to live. Outlaws and deserters often escape to the valley only to never be heard from again. Sometimes the groans of someone or something can be heard carried on the howling wind.
Huh. So, I thought it was black, but I may have made my character's hair purple by accident. But I don't hate it. I don't think I hate it at all. It's pretty fitting on him. I love how intense this rain is. Ah, uh, yeah, dump two more points in magic, and we're good to go. And now... We are going to find that our path is blocked by this fool. Who's just like, So, it's been brought to my attention you have entered our land with your vibes. Are they impish, or are they commendable? And of course, he finds them commendable. Our vibes are not impish. Even he likes the backflip. Uh, so remember in... I want to say it was the second mission, the one where you fight Hino Enma in Neo? There were some... nuisances. Do you remember the shape of those nuisances? Like, what they may have been? I'll remind you, they were bats. The bats are back. You can see the guano all over. Uh, they exist purely to knock you off of fucking cliffs. Now, as for Yatsunokami, our new yokai ability, who we've captured like a Pokemon, like a, a Japanese folklore Pokemon. Wait, that's just yokai watch. Yeah, I forgot we're playing yokai watch. Let's get enough anima to use it. Um, it would... Oh, and you can see a little Sudama at the other end of the broken bridge. We'll get to him. Now, it would be a real shame, uh, and not to mention so anticlimactic, we ended the episode before you could see Yatsunokami. So here it is.